So I think we're at a time where everyone's really waking up to the way that we abuse our power and treat those with less power. Devastated and enraged, Whitney Cummings is speaking out about the allegations against Chris D'Elia. In a Twitter post on Sunday, the actress who worked with Chris on her NBC show Whitney wrote, it's taken me a couple days to process the information I have learned about Chris. I'm devastated and enraged by what I've read and learned. Whitney added, this is a pattern of predatory behavior. This abuse of power is enabled by silence. Now that I'm aware, I won't be silent. Chris was recently accused by multiple women of sexual harassment and grooming. The comedian who recently starred on the second season of Netflix's You, that's not gonna save you, okay? Nothing can. He's trying to get in my head. Was first accused of misconduct by Twitter user Simone Rossi. Simone tweeted, I still can't believe Netflix cast Chris D'Elia as a pedophile in season two of You, like the literal irony. She then shared screenshots of alleged emails between her and Chris from when she was 16. The emails appeared to show the comedian asking Simone to meet up after his live shows and requesting photos from her. For the longest time, I thought it was embarrassing for me that I was interacting with this older man, but he was the one who DM'd me on Twitter and was the one who was twice my age and was the one that used the power imbalance between us to his advantage. So f Chris D'Elia. Simone added, I am also definitely not the only underage girl he did this to, just an FYI. Another Twitter user responded to Simone's story with allegations of her own. She wrote, he solicited nudes off of me when I was 17 years old and constantly messaged me whenever he was touring Vancouver and asked me to come backstage to his shows. I am so unsurprised that multiple girls are coming out with almost the exact story as mine. It's a known fact he's a f***ing perv and he plays those roles perfectly when acting. In a statement to E.T., Chris denied any illegal or non-consensual activity and apologized for getting, quote, caught up in my lifestyle. Whitney continued by writing, girls should be able to be a fan of a comedian they admire without becoming a sexual target. It's the adult's responsibility to be an adult. All of these sort of stereotypical qualities that women have, uh, not as weaknesses, but as strengths, being sensitive, being emotional. I feel like we get shamed for that. Another comedian speaking out, Amy Schumer. While she didn't directly name Chris in her post, Amy praised the brave women coming forward on Twitter. She wrote, there are great men out there and there are men who humiliate and abuse women and girls because of a power dynamic or because when they were that age, girls wouldn't talk to them. Whatever your reasoning is or was, we are watching you and we are all together now and we won't accept this behavior whether you break the law or not.